once kicking YouTube. We are fixing some jugs. I uh, lost a couple strings the other day to some barges, and uh, somehow I got my jug back. But anyway, I just got to put some hooks on. I've already restrung them. Uh, got my my pull noodle, three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe caps on both ends. I just tied it, double half hitch, two square knot, and it's about 20 foot of string. You can see this is a, it's the end right here. Put the old toe fish piece on top. And hopefully y'all can see. I got two hooks. Roughly about four foot or so from the jug and four footer uh, off the bottom. So, yeah, I've been catching all my fish around 15 foot ish. 12 to 15 foot, that's where I've been catching my catfish. Uh, and all I do is I make these little leaders. Got a uh, clip swivel. And I, I put a little two inch float. I don't know. Is that 12 to 16 inch leader? And uh, like I said, I come down about, I don't know, four feet. And I put two knot, two trout line knots, I call them. That way the leader can't slide up and down. And then I just put it on there and I put me a. Uh, I need to get some bigger circle hooks, but I've been using 3 aught circle hooks. They seem to be working pretty good. So I get to catch my whole fryers and I've caught some 5 to 10 pounders, no problem. That's it. My main line's a little thicker string. Uh, just in case it gets hung up, I can pop this little string. That way you're not losing the whole rig. That's the bad part about putting two hooks. That baby will get tight, huh? But it's fun when you pull one up and uh, you got two catfish, one on each hook. I'll tell you another thing I started doing too. Like, they already come with, I don't know if you can see, but they already come with like a little offset. I like to put a little more. really helps them ones that just come up and like I guess they just smash your bait off all right you can show sure enough get in them I lost one the other day, that's why I need to go to a four alt. <laughs> Straight in a circle hook, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just kind of tidying up my jugs. That way when I do get a chance to go, I was supposed to be able to go this morning and give y'all another video, but my wife had a hair appointment. So, how that goes. And the girls didn't want to go fishing, so I was just screwed. And then this one, the other day I was fishing and I didn't realize that catfish had ran under a, uh, a metal pipe. And when I pulled on it, it just popped right off. <sighs> he was a good one too, he's a good eight pounder.
catfish shit. Like I said, you got those those trap line knots, so it, if it does slide, it can't go nowhere. See, it can only go as far as your knots. Let's put a couple square knots. I know it's been a while since I've posted on YouTube, but freaking life happened, man. It seems like something comes up every time you want to do something. I sure do appreciate everybody liking and subscribing my stuff. Like I said, I just, I like to offset my hooks just a little bit more. They already come with a little offset, but and it just seems like it helps. Yeah. Once you start using these double hook rigs, you'll start getting a hang of how to do it where you don't. But these corks keep it off the main line really well. Like, it'll literally be straight out like that away from it and it won't even take a look. It's, uh, it'll sit just like that in the water. It depends on how heavy you bait, but it, it does not tangle up on the main line. And you get better odds of catching a fish. Because you get, you know, you fish in two different water columns, so fish ain't high, they gonna be low. So, but anyway, that's uh, that's how I do my jugs, and uh, maybe try it out. Comment, tell me what you think. I got some regular old traditional jugs too, and it just, uh, I don't know, it's a new way to fish. You don't see many people doing it like that. Like I said, I go, I don't know, 20 foot of stream. And I, uh, by the time my weight's, you know, on this, this smaller stream to my main line, that way if this weight gets hung up, you can pop this, no problem. And uh, go about four foot from the bottom of your stream. But you, uh, I call them trout line knots. All it is is just say this is my line. Just take, put your bunch of square knots together. That's what I call it anyway. I don't know what I'm about three or four inside that loop. Pull him tight. It makes that perfect knot. And then just come about a finger length. Do it again. Three or four. And you try to keep it closer. You don't want it to play too much, but I mean, there it is. Old trout line knot. That's what I call it. But anyway, your uh, your leaders. Once you put it on here, once you tie it right, it can't go past that knot. Can't go past this knot. So. That's how I do it, and uh, like I said, just everybody's different. I like to try different things, and uh, it's been paying off. And don't don't sleep on that chicken recipe. I'm telling you, it's uh, it's definitely been paying off for me. I've been catching some fish, but uh, all right, well, I'm gonna go about my rat killing. Thank y'all for liking, subscribing, and. Uh, Make sure y'all share it out there, get more people involved. Uh, hopefully, I'm off for the next two weeks. Hopefully, I can get y'all some more good catfishing videos and uh, maybe even some white perch videos. We don't know. I'm trying to get my old dad to take me offshore so we can get some triple tail or something. But anyway, we'll come back at you whenever I uh, go to the woods or go to the big pond. But thank you all for liking and subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.